think a lot of brands want to work with Mickey Mouse because of the timeless positivity he exudes as a character. He's one of the most recognizable, iconic characters in the world. Disney has had a program licensing materials to the public for many, many years. They started licensing them in the early 30s. And that program started actually here in New York in the, the late 20s. Uh, a gentleman ran up to Walt Disney in the lobby of a hotel and waved some money at him and asked him if he could put Mickey Mouse on a school tablet that he was creating. And Walt needed the money, so he said yes, and that was the very first piece of licensed material. The inspiration for this activation originally came from multiple sessions with Disney Consumer Products and my agency, and we spent quite a bit of time with archives to really hone in on the certain highlight moments of Mickey's legacy and figure out how to contemporize those, uh, which ended up becoming this fully immersive 16,000 square foot exhibition. Some amazing highlights from this exhibition would have to be Sorcerer's Way, a tribute to Mickey's Fantasia. Another highlight would be the Mickey Mouse Club Room where we recreated the 90s set that birthed so many amazing personalities. We have a great moment with Brooklyn-based artist Daniel Arsham, where inspired from a cartoon through the wall, he created a sculptural piece where it looks like Mickey Mouse is coming out of the wall. In this room, this is called The Collection, and what we've done is brought a number of, of items from California, from the Walt Disney Archives here to New York. And Darren, who created this exhibit, asked us to bring things that he could showcase. And so instead of just putting them up in a, in a large, splashy display of, of Disney merchandise, which is what usually what we do, he asked us to put each piece into its own little case and focus on that so that people could get up and really see what high quality pieces these are and how much fun they are and the beautiful little details. Some of them are vintage from the 30s, some of them are from the 40s and 50s, even up through the present day. There's some things here that are, are fairly new to, to Disney collecting. There's some newer pieces here that are really terrific from licensees like Opening Ceremony, Marc Jacobs, Shinola Watches, and they're all displayed on the wall too alongside these really wonderful treasures. You can see the Mickey Mouse watch right next to the Shinola watch. The most iconic Mickey Mouse branded product, in my opinion, would have to be the timepiece, the wristwatch. So many renditions over the years, they're just amazing, such great history, great stories behind them. And we have a great moment here as well with New York City legendary artist Kenny Scharf did a beautiful cosmic cavern that celebrates the Mickey timepiece.